Hi and welcome to Loja today. We have uh, the zoo here in Loja and we're so excited. Uh, we're getting a special trip through here today and uh, we're hoping you'll enjoy seeing the animals and uh, we'll be talking with the president of the zoo as well. So uh, join us on this adventure. We're in Loja, Ecuador. This truly is a special trip. The mayor of Loja, Ecuador enabled us to enter the zoo and meet with Jorge Gonzalez, the president of the zoo in Loja, Ecuador. Currently, the zoo has been closed because of the COVID-19 epidemic of 2020. So this was quite special for us to be able to enter. We worked with an outstanding interpreter. Her name is Dianita Toledo, and she helped us to tour the zoo and also to get a strong understanding of the passion that Jorge Gonzalez as well as the mayor of Loja, Ecuador, that they have for the animals and the cure of the animals. Dr. Gonzalez and the Loja mayor would prefer that these animals would live in the wild. Unfortunately for many of these animals, living in the wild is not an option. Many of them were raised in captivity or rescued from bad conditions. Most of these animals would not survive on their own. Many were injured and needed rehabilitation care. Much effort is put into the rehabilitation of these animals and to reacclimate them into the wild. And in June of 2020, 70 animals were returned to their natural habitat, thanks to the work and the efforts of the Loja Zoo. For the vast majority of these animals that are in the Loja Zoo, the best place for them, for their survival, is to remain in the Loja Zoo or until they reach a point to where reintroduction into the wild is a viable option. Many people would like to volunteer at the zoo. I'm sure that are watching this um, video, maybe they're in Cuenca, maybe you're gonna come from other parts of Ecuador or you're in the United States. If you'd like to volunteer at the zoo, you would have to go through the mayor's office to have that pre-authorized here in Loja. Um, currently, the volunteers that work at the zoo are all from Ecuador and Ecuadorian citizens. Um, that's not to rule out the possibility of a volunteer in the future, but currently all volunteers have been Ecuadorian. On a typical day, the zoo would receive about 500 guests. The cost to come into this zoo is $2 for an adult and $1 for a child. There is some public tax money, but most of the money that uh, supports the zoo is from gate receipts as well as a combination of tax dollars. If you do come to the Loja Zoo, know that your patronage and your dollars help to support these animals here and to feed them and provide them with the best facilities possible. I want to steal him and take him home. He's so cute. Julie, take one. <laughs> Julie's falling in love with monkeys. I told her in the past she can never have a monkey for a pet because it's going to pick up the poop and throw it and it could be dirty. <laughs> but some of them are cute enough that I might just deal with it. So we got a four year old giraffe. He's beautiful. Looks like he's very healthy. Very much. We continue on our journey through the Loja Zoo. Hey, beautiful. Hi there. been having a good time talking. Now he's gonna ignore me. There he comes from hiding his head. Oh. Here we are. We're bonding. I like him. If you come here, you gotta say hi to my buddy. Here's our 
victim running for freedom. Let's get away from that big mean guy. Go, buddy, go. So we are tracking the lion here in the zoo in Loja. We got a glimpse of him for about five seconds. We had a hard time getting him on video, but Julie thinks she got a picture. So here's that picture. We have a what's called a guayaquil squirrel. So guayaquil has its own special squirrel that gets to live with the monkeys. How cool. If I was a squirrel, I wouldn't mind living with some monkeys. about the animals here in the zoo or in just the Zamora. You have, we have the nice condition or we need to have the better condition for the animals? You know, I think what you guys are doing here is beautiful. You are trying to work with so many animals that cannot be back, uh, returned back into the wild and have special conditions. Um, I'm, I'm very, very uh, content with what you guys are doing and I like your zoo. Um, I hope that other people are going to come here and support you. I think it's a good mission. Um, I hope you enjoyed having us here. Okay, thank you very much because it's very important for us. No, what do you think? Because you are the very important person and you know many histories about the zoo. And you have a really nice view. Thank you for coming to Orillas de Zamora Zoo. And thank you for coming for visits to us. Oh, no, thank you for having us. It was our pleasure. Everybody, if you're coming to Aloha, if you're in Cuenca and you're coming on a road trip, come down and spend your $2 and enter here to the zoo and help support their mission and feed the animals here with your donation or by your admission cost. And we had a good time here. And I'm sure that uh, in the future, if you're coming here, you're going to enjoy it also. Glad you took us around today and you're a wonderful guy. Ready for the zoo and on to the next adventure and the zoological vehicle is taking us uh, back to town. We hope you all enjoyed the zoo as much as Julie and I did and that you'll join us for our next adventures and trips as we explore Ecuador and other parts of the world. Uh, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe and we'll look forward to having you join us on the next adventure. Thank you everybody.